where are we going? Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today, we're talking about Avengers and Spider-Man coming into the roster on PlayStation. Now, I do need to disclose before we get started that this video is sponsored by Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics. And I want to thank you guys all for supporting me and my content to make opportunities like this available. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, just to get into how he plays for my PlayStation players or anyone that may have been waiting to see what platform they want to get it on, I highly recommend getting it on playstation especially if you got your hands on a ps5 because the game actually performs incredibly on playstation 5 i'm not really uh missing pc that much because obviously there's a much bigger player base i never have trouble finding people to play with every time i match make to get my dailies done especially for the new shipment system i always find people to play with and that's great uh just to cover spider-man's abilities he has the spider drone he has the web bomb he has the wrecking ball and then obviously he can do everything that you would know spider-man to do whether it be web swinging web crawling wall running and all that fun stuff now spider-man is being placed into the avengers game universe and as i've been saying on stream that is something that's very important to keep in mind because i'm sure everybody is going to constantly compare you know how spider-man plays in the insomniac games but to me that's just something that doesn't work i've played ultimate alliance one two and three and if you're like if that's the way we're just going to compare how spider-man plays in a game or the expectations that's not giving him a fair chance and even i can say myself i had limited expectations for spider-man being in avengers but when i finally got my hands on him not got my hands on him when i leveled him to level 50 because that's where the shining moments of playing as characters in avengers are it was a game changer his web status effect for mobs and elite enemies is incredible because it locks them down so hard his ability to instantly take down any enemy with a full intrinsic meter is so broken and i'm i'm serious like dreadbots the tanks with a buttload of health once it can get an instant takedown and you know if you do that duo takedown it's an instant kill and spidey can go right into an instant takedown it's so incredible and i love having it because of the, the flow of combat with him on the team just kind of speeds up with being able to take things like that down even though we know that every avengers with the right build can be completely broken and spider-man's no different his web drone uh i think i was getting it to do like twenty thousand damage per shot and it stays up for like 30 seconds because i have like an extra 10 second so that's passive damage that's legitimately just drilling into enemies as my drone is just taking shots um, the web bomb, I have lenses that give me an extra web bomb, so I always have two stacked. Every time I throw the web bomb, I get an instant intrinsic meter that's filled that gives me another in instant takedown, and it's just a constant loop of fun combos and web status building and, you know, just mayhem when it comes to having Spider-Man on the field. Again, he's something that I didn't expect that would actually work really well in Avengers, but I find myself completely surprised. He's still not my favorite character because I'm a huge Captain America fan, but I find myself going back to Spider-Man constantly. I've got him to champion level 15. I got him to level 50, 152, getting my weeklies done, and that's just such a blast to you know have another character to level it's one of my favorite things every time we get a new character into the game checking out their kit seeing how they fit and it's so awesome to have him on the roster for playstation as i said previously spider-man is only available on playstation now if you've been following me for a long time especially for my avengers content on twitch you would know that i have probably over 600 to 700 hours in the game between pc and playstation i was primarily a pc player so hearing that a complete character is limited to one platform is something that i absolutely cannot ever be on board with um even with a time limited situation but that doesn't seem to be the case with spider-man as far as i've seen and heard 
from the developers it doesn't seem like spider-man will be making his way into other platforms as much as i can't agree with that situation i do happen to play avengers on playstation as well and now with the introduction of spider-man on playstation that seems to become my main platform i don't see them pulling uh any other deals where we'll see other characters limited to only one platform and i think spider-man is probably the limitation uh but with such a like heavy hitting marvel character it makes me wonder why they did go the route of you know having such a game seller on one platform but obviously in crystal dynamics defense i doubt that that has anything to do, to do with them just developing the game and more to do with the business side that happens to go on with you know square enix and any publishing company when it comes to deals like this now as much as i would love to see him come to other platforms i do hope that this doesn't impede crystal dynamics ability to hopefully give us crossplay someday because i think that that's one of the most important topics to be talking about when it comes to the future of avengers now this isn't my future of avengers video this is me just talking about spidey and going into his kit and how he feels and why people should check him out especially since avengers goes on sale so often i believe it's 40 dollars at full price and even at that i mean for anyone that doesn't know i paid for both my pc copy and my playstation copy and i've again put over 600 hours into the game especially if you're someone that likes games like ultimate alliance or you just like fun co-op games to play with your buds avengers is in such a great state now my next video will be covering 2.2 which is the massive huge update that makes big changes to the loop and leveling system because we got a power level increase and that's across the board for every character nine uh on all platforms and 10 if you're on playstation if i'm not mistaken by my math and that's something just to look forward to because we're already being told that we're getting another roadmap in the beginning of 2022 which is super exciting because the future of avengers doesn't look dim to me especially especially and i can't you know i can't stress this enough if we can get some cross play cross progression would be the big win cross play is the w that everyone needs at least because if people are going to come over to playstation let's say you got a black friday deal or you just see it go on sale which i'm not gonna lie i think i've seen it go on sale at least once a month which is a great steal because i can't stress this enough avengers has every piece of playable content every character every story beat every mission type every raid is all coming at no extra cost this is why i love avengers i have spent quite a few dollars on skins to support the title because i love it but the fact that like anyone can jump in not feel gated by the content that comes out so if a raid comes out or an expansion comes out and they just got the game for you know a crazy deal they can jump right in level their characters and play with their friends and not be limited to any content because they don't have an expansion spidey being added to playstation has been a bigger surprise than i thought and that's why i think i'm a little more sad that he's not on other platforms because he feels so much better than i thought now i know one of the biggest things that people ask for is how is his traversal and my flat and down to earth answer is it just works it's not going when you relate it to other games obviously you're going to feel like something is missing a little bit but it does it really works and something that i found out late into the game is when the game teaches you how to web swing with him it you know just tells you to do that whole hold right trigger release right trigger and i don't think it emphasizes well enough about giving yourself extra momentum by using x to release at the end of your swing and i think that's where a lot of people are seeing in some videos or when feeling when they're playing that you're losing momentum as you're swinging the only criticism i have for his web swinging is that his side dodge is kind of like a web zip and it's the the moment the speed momentum just completely drops from that if the devs could tweak that up a little bit to where you're at least kind of on the same wavelength while you're in a full swing that would make web swinging feel much much better but again it gets the job done it's super fun and avengers isn't about the traversal for 90 percent of the gameplay you're going into fights you're completing objectives and just getting from point a to point b 
is such a small part of the game that the web swinging even feeling this good is such a big tell at how much Crystal Dynamics cared about making Spidey feel as Spider-Man as they could. His combos feel awesome. His air takedowns, which I can't stress enough, need to be on every character. But the fact that we have air takedowns with Spidey is incredible. And I love it. It's just so fun. And uh, he's really a good fit to the mix. Locking enemies down, instant takedowns. It just feels great across the board. And I went in the beginning when they first announced Spidey being really upset that Spidey got announced for joining the Avengers because in the comics, he's like the last kid picked on the, you know, playground for kickball when it comes to officially joining the Avengers. Yes, he's teamed up with the Avengers, but he was always more a solo guy and then joined very, very late into the run. So seeing characters like Beast and Storm, it would have been so much more exciting. Doctor Strange, you know, like Vision. I would love to see all these characters and that's what i'm hoping we get in our next roadmap is some different characters that aren't so melee focused giving us some keep away characters like wanda or steven strange would be incredible to be added to the mix because it really shows you know the vast variety of how these characters feel different and that's one of my biggest pluses for avengers is yes they're all on the same engine but it absolutely feels like when you're playing each character, they are so different from each other. And I love that so much. Even characters of the same archetype like Kate Bishop and Clint feel so different, even though they're both swordsmen and archers. They still vastly changed the kits for those characters. And I can't stress enough why Avengers is one of my favorite co-op games for me personally, because I just have such a blast. Now, something that I know a lot of people are always constantly looking for is they're looking for that game that's keeping them constantly engaged. You know, every day they're getting on, they're doing their dailies, they have their weeklies, and I think 2.2 was a huge step in the right direction for that for Avengers because the raid is so good. And again, I'll get into that another in another video because I really wanted to talk about Spider-Man. But when you have so many characters to choose from and hopefully as 2022 and maybe beyond goes on, we can see our roster get to 15, 20 characters. I know a lot of people want like an Ultimate Alliance style cast of characters but at the end of the day when you really go down to the nitty-gritty of the character set they have different archetypes that just lay on skins and then give different colors for abilities so they look like they're different when they're acting and you know their mechanics are exactly the same and that's not how characters go in avengers every light attack heavy attack combo you know dodge ability intrinsic assault heroic ultimate abilities are all customized to be unique to each character and that's what makes avengers feel super good for me i didn't think that i'd love spider-man as much as i do and i still have heavy criticisms about the decision to make him playstation only but i can't stress enough how if you have it on playstation whether it be ps4 or ps5 which have cross-generation play and so you'll don't you don't have to worry about finding people to play with because i've been able to do my olt which is a weekly endeavor and if i really wanted to i probably could do the raid with matchmaking as well i just know the raid is very uh it's communication heavy so if you find people that don't communicate with mics you might have a little bit of a struggle there so that's obviously a little bit of a warning to anybody out there but once you find a good group to get with oh my goodness i have so much fun uh, i can't stress enough how if you haven't checked out spidey yet on playstation you really need to get in and see how he feels because he blew me away more than i thought he would his web buildup status effect is insanely strong his instant takedowns are honestly overpowered in my opinion but i hope they don't change it because it's just absolutely crazy to have on the team especially since they seem to balance it really well with his new web status buildup being neutral so it doesn't affect battery damage Anyway, we're going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you guys so much for checking out uh, today's video that was sponsored by Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix. Let me know what you guys think about Spider-Man if you've already played them on PlayStation. And if you haven't, check out the link below because you can get Avengers. And it, again, like I said, it goes on sale quite often. But when you're getting the entire game and everything that comes out in the future content-wise 
for free and the only you know way that you support the game is through skins and the most that you're giving is your time so let me know what you guys think in the comments i'll see you next time and all right bye everybody